Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, just a quick video to find out what's new in the latest Canary Channel Insider Build 27898 that rolled out late on Friday. In my part of the world, that's Friday the 11th of July. Now, there's quite a lot going on in this latest Canary Channel build. And it seems like Microsoft is trying to keep it up to speed now with other Insider Preview builds and even the Stable Channel because most, if not all, of these features that we're going to talk about today are making their way into the stable version. Now the first is taskbar icon scaling and this has already made its way to stable but just a quick recap if we right click taskbar settings taskbar behaviors you now have the option to show smaller taskbar buttons. Now this doesn't make the taskbar smaller it just makes the icons smaller with Microsoft saying an improvement to the Windows taskbar that ensures that you have quick access to more of your favorite apps even when your taskbar is full. With taskbar icon scaling, when your taskbar starts to get crowded with pinned or open apps, the icons will automatically scale down to a smaller size. So taskbar icon scaling now in the Canary channel and you get three options. Default is when taskbar is full, always and never. And then the next one is Quick Machine Recovery, which is also on its way to stable. Quick Machine Recovery, according to Microsoft, is a feature introduced as part of the Windows Resiliency Initiative at Ignite 2024 and is now available in the Canary channel. So when enabled, it automatically detects and fixes widespread issues on Windows 11 devices using the Windows Recovery environment. This reduces downtime according to Microsoft and avoids the need for manual fixes. And if a device experiences a widespread boot issue, it enters WinRE, connects to the internet, and Microsoft can deliver a targeted fix through Windows Update. So that's new quick machine recovery. And it's going to be interesting to see that actually working in real time when it does roll out to the stable. And then Microsoft says it's also introducing the ability to add your own words to the dictionary in voice access. Adding your own words, including difficult to pronounce words to the dictionary in voice access will help improve dictation accuracy, according to Microsoft. So it's mentioned that it increases the probability of recognizing these words more accurately by creating a bias that helps voice access become more context aware and proactively understanding your specific vocabulary. This is also making its way to stable. And what we're looking at here is Voice Access Vocabulary Builder dialog for adding your own words to the dictionary. And what we're looking at here is the Add to Vocabulary option in Voice Access Settings menu highlighted obviously in that red box. And then I'm just going to mention the next one. The Screen Curtain feature in Narrator apparently is a new feature which is designed to enhance privacy and focus for users who rely on screen reading. When activated, Microsoft says screen curtain completely blacks out the display, ensuring that only the user hears what's on the screen through narrator while the visual content remains hidden from view. And I think that's a nice move. And then the next one, Microsoft says, and this is one that hasn't made its way yet to this table. Microsoft says it's updating the design of the privacy dialogues for app permissions. So when an app requests permission to access location, camera, mic, and so on, it's now a system modal dialog. So here we have before, what it looked like, and yet to the right, the after. So when one of these dialogues appears from an app requesting permission, the screen will slightly darken now, as we can see, and the privacy dialog will take focus in the center screen compared to how it was previously, where that was not the case. And the next feature has already made its way into the stable version, which I've already received. So Microsoft says now that in addition to the new grouping of the accessibility flyer out in quick settings, Microsoft says it's adding text descriptions, as we can see, for the assistive technologies like narrative voice access for easy identification and learning by the users, which I think is a nice move. And here's a little UR tweak and adjustment where Microsoft says it's now added dividers to the top level icons that show at the top or bottom of the file explorer context menu that hasn't made its way to stable yet and then for energy saver microsoft says it's beginning to roll out a preview adaptive energy saver 
An adaptive energy saver is an opt-in feature that automatically enables and disables energy saver without changing screen brightness based on the power state of the device and the current system load. Microsoft says this will only be available on devices with a battery, obviously. And you can manage your energy saver settings under settings, system, power, and battery. And then just two that are making their way into stable already. But for last week in the Canary channel, when you share links or web content using the Windows Share window, you will see a visual preview for that content. And the next one is in the Windows Share window. Microsoft says it has adjusted the UR. So you can now select your compression scale from high, medium or low instead of choosing from an entire scale ra ranging from 0 to 100. And I actually think that's also a nice move. And here's another narrator feature that Microsoft is introducing. With Microsoft saying, it's introducing a smoother way to discover and learn about narrator capabilities. Narrator will now guide you through its new features by launching a series of modal windows which contain the details of the new features and changes in Narrator that's also making its way to stable. And then two more just to mention for the purpose of this video. Next one has also made its way to stable. If we head back to our settings, time and language, language and region. Microsoft has now added the country or region selected during device setup under settings, time and language, language and region. And that remains like that. You cannot change that and it's basically unclickable. And then Microsoft says it's also rolling out some small changes for setting your browser defaults via settings apps, default apps. And one of those is the new default browser can now be pinned to the taskbar or to the start menu unless you choose not to pin it by clearing the checkboxes. And then over and above that, guys, we get a couple of fixes and then we get a bunch of known issues because this is Canary Channel, which is a very early preview version of the operating system. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.